Well, one thing I always get is I look a lot taller on TV. <laughs> That's one. And then the second thing would be I'd be just like walking on the street, you know, minding my own business, and then someone comes up to me and they're like, excuse me, excuse me, do you mind if we have a quick photo? And I'm like, yes, they recognize me. <laughs> and they're like, Mark Ballas. Oh. That's, that's all I get. Yeah. Oh, and the crab stuff, right? He was, he was the left crab this year. Yeah, that's, a, that's another sort of claim to fame for me. Um, I was a crab. And let me tell you, it's hot in that suit. Gotta love them sea creatures. I oh, know. All right, all right, I need the rest of the cast to come join me, guys. I'm gonna send Emma and Sasha into the audience. So let's get some lights up. If you have questions for anyone in the cast, flag them down and be a part of our show. Thank you, Dad. Everyone's about to out of the show. I feel sorry for those guys up there if they're scared of heights. I know. What? Woo! All right, Alan, we're gonna let you start. Why don't you tell us what the best part about being on tour with everyone is? I would say the best part about being on tour is seeing all of these lovely faces. <laughs> no, it's actually such a blessing to do something that you love every night. And to get such feedback from you guys is amazing, so thank you very much. Alright, send it up here to Val. I have a fan question from Kayla out here. Who... Yeah? Kayla, is that you, Kayla? There she is. And she wants to know what the most rewarding aspect of the show for you is. Is that your question? Oh yeah? Okay, you. Yeah. I'm having fans like that. Uh, the most rewarding thing, I mean, there's a lot of things, a lot of things. The check is really rewarding. <laughs> but, uh, no, listen, it's changed my life, it's changed my family's life. It's, uh, you know, obviously giving me opportunities that I couldn't have dreamed of uh, in the past, but, uh, I say, I, I, think, I think the greatest gift is to be able to inspire others and help others and, and, and this job kind of allows me to do both at the same time. I get to teach first of all, you know, first and foremost I'm a teacher, uh, then I'm a choreographer and then I'm a performer. So uh, I get to teach and guide uh, another individual that's totally vulnerable and scared and frightened to death. Uh, and, and help them kind of find their confidence, like I said earlier. So that's great. And then in terms of all the fans that tune in, you know, I, I get an opportunity to hopefully inspire people at home to, to get out there and do something that they never thought they'd be able to do. So I think that's the greatest gift that the show has given me. Woo! Great question, Kate. Thank you. Um, Emma, I have, check. I have lost your sparkly little self. There you are. Debating questions here, and we have one. Um, what's your name? Ellie. And what's your question? Like, how how do you become a professional dancer? That's a little vague. Do you want to elaborate? Cross your fingers. <laughs> Pray. Maybe how long does it take? to get where you are. You, you could literally be anything you want to be. I don't know how old you are. Uh, you, can, you can do anything you want. You just have to invest enough time in it, enough effort. And, you know, I know it's a, I know it's a very cliche answer. It's incredibly cliche, but there's cliches for a reason because it's a proven fact. You can be anything you want as long as you're willing to put and invest your entire life into it. Uh, everybody on the stage went on a limb, whether it was their parents that encouraged them against their will, uh, or, or they themselves felt a certain love for it at a very young age, which is also very unusual. Uh, but they committed themselves to it. They gave their undivided attention and focus, and, and here you are. This is a product of that. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's not luck. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. So prepare as much as you can, and opportunity will be there for you. Great question. I'm going to come over here to Jenna. Jenna, you had a fan question. This is actually from your fan page. Someone here is from the official Jenna fan page. Yes. And she wants to know, how do you get a good night's sleep after a show on the bus? Hmm. Well, it's a little tricky um, in those bunk beds. You feel like you're in a coffin. But I would say, I mean, we're pretty exhausted from doing this incredible show for you guys, so it's pretty easy to fall asleep. But we do love to watch movies to wind down. 
little nighttime tea. Oh, didn't you all watch like a scary movie the other day? Yes, we watched a horror movie, so I didn't have a good night's sleep that night. But yeah, we're pretty exhausted, so it's, it's quite e easy to get some sleep. I fell asleep in the lounge yesterday with everybody, and then when I woke up, nobody was there. <laughs> Uh, and then when I tried to get in my bunk, Jenna was in my bunk. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. So I kind of been from top to bottom to middle bunk, and then in the back lounge and in the front lounge, and I we tend to sleep a lot. Huh? We play musical bunks. Musical bunks. Yeah. It's quite Bus interesting. Hang on, you end up backwards one night? Oh yeah, I sleepwalk, and two nights ago I woke up backwards. Like you know, you're supposed to sleep a certain way. I woke up. Like with my feet on the pillow and my head like looking at Peter's feet. And what happened was um, I sleepwalked, so I'd slept walked out, done whatever, and then slept walked back but gone in backwards. She paints quite the picture, doesn't she? <laughs> that story was so elaborate, we're out of time now, no? Sorry, right, everybody, give it up for your cast of dancing with the